Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the acute diarrhea. So, the diarrhea can be classified in the form of community acquired diarrhea, hospital acquired diarrhea, and lactose intolerance diarrhea. But in this video, we will understand about the bacterial and viral diarrhea, which that is the uh, basically is the community acquired diarrhea. With the detail, so the diarrhea is the passage of loose watery stool at least three times per 24 hours and it will be classified on the basis of the duration the acute is more than 14 days to two weeks while uh, a, a, a sub a sub acute persistent 14 to 30 days while the chronic more than 30 days more than four weeks so in this way, it is on the basis of the duration, the diarrhea, acute, sub-acute, or chronic. Etiological, community-acquired diarrhea. First of all, we will understand about that. The community-acquired diarrhea is a viral 87 percent, less than 74 hours, uh, 72 hours, while the bacterial is the 13 percent. Viral can be a rotavirus, a norovirus, and adenovirus. Also, sometimes the influenza virus can also cause the acute diarrhea or the community acquired diarrhea. But the bacterial is the different. This is the can be a severe watery, dysentery, enteric fever or vomiting plus uh, diarrhea, and it is involved involve the bacteria. That bacteria is uh, fluid loss without cellular injury uh, due to the bacteria trigger, and this will lead to vibrio cholera. Can be include enterotoxinogenic E. coli, as well as the Salmonella and Listeria. Anyhow, let's understand about the bacterial diarrhea, which that is the 13% diarrhea. Whenever you will drink or eat the food, sometimes the food can be contaminated due to the viral or bacterial infection. It can be a old food or the infected food or non-boiled uh, fluids or uncooked, uncooked foods. Whenever you will eat this contaminated foods, which that will be uh, uh, go into the stomach, but the stomach is not affected due to the acidity, but sometimes the bacteria will escape from the acidity and go into the duodenum. Whenever it will go into the duodenum, the duodenum is involved and large intestine is involving to progress the diarrhea. Let's understand about the uh, small intestine, which that contain a vibrio cholera. This vibrio cholera is here is the lumen. Vibrio cholera produce the vibrio cholera toxin, the V toxin. This vibrio cholera toxin contain two type of subunit, B and A2 and A1. A2 and A1 bind, uh, uh, sorry, bind the B with the receptor while the uh, glyco gly, uh, basically is the uh, collagen receptor like structure and the a1 and a2 will be entered and separate will lead to trigger the cyclic amp for efflux of the potassium chloride sodium water and bicarbonate and on the other hand the no inflammation due to the inhibition of the dendritic, dendritic cell while on the other hand it this the loss of the potassium, sodium, chloride, and water and carbonate will lead to loss of bicarbonate lead to metabolic acidosis, while the hypokalemia, arrhythmia, muscle weak, and cramp. The bacterial is the 13% diarrhea, and enterotoxinogenic E. coli is also involved. The enterotoxinogenic E. coli produces the labile toxin and the stable toxin in the lumen when it will be entered into the digestive system. Anyhow, 
it will pr- produce also the same structure uh, like uh, basically the labile toxin which that is contain a subunit 1 and 2 and in this way the gm1 uh, uh, basically is the gm1 receptor will receive through b subunit to cyclic amp trigger when enter when endocytose while the stable toxin will work to trigger the cyclic gmp but the function for both is the efflux of the water sodium etc like a vibricora but the function is that it also triggers the cyclic gmp not like a vibricora and the cyclic amp same like a vibricora This will lead to also cause the uh, uh, cause severe watery stool. Anyhow, let's understand about the dysentery diarrhea. This dysentery diarrhea is the colon primary and it is involved the bacteria. Some bacteria will infect it, uh, infect and in this way it will infect the uh, enterocytes. When infect the enterocytes, the inflammation will occur. Infected cell detect through a dendritic cell and the inflammation will progress due to the production of cytokines for recruitment of monocyte and other. The stool is in smaller volume than in water and dry, uh, 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 sorry, watery diarrhea. So the stool is in smaller volume than in watery diarrhea. And in this way, here you can see, this is the infected cell. And the dendritic cell will recognize this antigen as an infected cell to trigger the monocytes recruitment and the neutrophils as well as macrophage. And CD4 and CD8, cytotoxic T cell and the T helper cell, will recruit for the clearance of the pathogenicity because it is involving the pathogenicity in the enterocyte and inflammation not like enterotoxinogenic or the vibricora. The blood vessel which that will also uh, involve the infiltration of the macrophage toward the infection site will lead to water uh, release and water will release in the lumen. It can be a shigellosis through a shigella virus. The shigella virus will also infect and the plasma membrane damage as well as infect other cell through a finger like projection and this is the cause hem- hem- hemorrhagic colitis ure- uh, uremic syndrome liver disease and ulceration as well as bleeding this type of fire of bacterial infection can be a e coli vibru uh, uh, vibru para hemolyticus vibru uh, Volnificus, Shigella, Campylobacter, and Salmonella. Let's understand about the viral uh, diarrhea. It can be a uh, 87 percent. First, we will understand uh, the, uh, uh, understand about the rotavirus and the rotavirus. Uh, so, how it can work? Virus will be enter into the enterocyte and trigger the non structural uh, protein NSP4 and the uh, viroporin will release the calcium and this calcium will trigger the ADP and this point with the uh, point with the intracellular uh, calcium wave and will lead to trigger this cascade of phosphorylation and the secondary messenger IP3. And IP3 will also increase the calcium as well as uh, um, go into the cell to cell spreading. And the cytokines, prostaglandin, nitric oxide, serotonin will produce. And this will lead to cause diarrhea due to the vagal nerves bind with the 5-HT3 serotonin. This afferent, afferent vagal nerves, sensory vagal nerves, will give the response to the brain to increase the peristaltic movement and this peristaltic movement is not allowed to delay the water for absorption in this way the watery diarrhea can occur let's understand about the rotaviral in virus infection and how the vomiting can occur in this video we are just understanding about the rotavirus 
just not all virus infection so let's just for exa example this is the enterochromaffin cell which that infected due to the rotavirus and this will lead to release the chemicals like cytokines prostaglandin nitric oxide serotonin as an inflammation will detect the serotonin through our nerves and in this way this is the cyclic amp also trigger how it can be triggered it can be triggered due to the viroporin this viroporin anyhow here is enterocytes which that is basically is the non structural protein 4 is allowed to increase the calcium and in this way the release of the serotonin and this bind with the nerve when bind with the nerves it will trigger the uh, trigger the nerve impulse in this way here is the submucous cell plexus which that is the intestinal motility increase by this mechanism while on the other hand the myantric plexus this myantric plexus is basically uh, myantric plexus here you can see this will lead to trigger the more intestinal motility by this action while on the other hand the brain contain NTS and AP uh, in this way this is the a nucleus tractus solitris solitris and uh, a, a uh, uh, AP uh, region which that will trigger the myotric plexus will lead to submucous plexus will lead to intestinal motility increase while the stomach mm, and lead to cause vomiting anyhow i hope you make sense about this if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share bye